day for today's uh, tournament, basically. So, our first match will be Not versus Stella. I have to say, this is the first time I see uh, the participation of each of these uh, part. Well, uh, each of these participants. Uh, participants, basically. So, uh, I do not have a lot of info regarding them, but what I do know is that usually people who participate to this tournament, my tournament right there, are very good. So, we're really looking forward to today's performance of each and everybody's uh, well, performance of this. So, that being said, here we go with Stella right away trying to apply pressure on Not, but Not actually recognizing that Stella was going to use the Kabari uh, backdash in order to, uh, well, basically attack Not through the air and immediately resorted to using the 6P. And right there, we can see Not successfully using the overdrive in order to get the hard knockdown. Stira barely managed to escape by using a backdash and the uh, Roman cancel. So yeah, very, very nicely done by Not. Managed to weather the storm. He got the hard knockdown there. Oh, again, gets hit by the uh, Hiragi right there. Very nicely done by Stira. For now, every single one of his Hiragi have been hitting its mark. Here we go with the Tatami guy. She Okizeme and you are Shibari, mister. You are not going anywhere. Here we go with the Tatami. Oh my lord. <laughs> Just the standing far HS, man. Not not giving a F. <laughs> oh my lord. Here he, he's gonna go. Oh, he got the conversion. No overdrive on this one. Unfortunately, they didn't have any attention bar, that is. So, oh, okay. Here we go. Hard read from not try to uh, use the aerial overdrive. My lord, that quick grab into Roman cancel he even managed to fade the burst that was godlike with the OTG for the win very nicely done by Stella puts one uh, round on the board let's see how not is going to uh well answer to this uh, newly found adjustment here we go with not just just dashing for not giving any F man <laughs> here we go with the Tatami guys this is the optimized combo version he went for the reset the cross over that was really really well done here we go with the tatami not the tatami with the yozan sen instant yozan sen for the win very nicely done by stella takes the first match very nicely done it's honestly it's extremely extremely close i wouldn't be surprised if the following match would just be not like completely turning the uh the tide and just ending up humbling his uh, opponent so we shall see in a couple of seconds, but yeah, very nice first match to be quite honest. Extremely like, um, it's actually a pretty tight match. Yeah, I'm I'm happy of uh, my 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 seating. Anyways, that being said, here we go on with the second match of this set. Let's see how not adjusts to this uh, shift in. Oh, here we go. Early burst by not doesn't want to deal with any type of pressure. Unfortunately for him, he he was forced to do so because of the Kabari of bike and here we go with again an optimized combo you went for a i suppose a reset he probably couldn't quite finish uh okay here we go wow with the wall bounce and he's oh a little bit too far to get the wall break this is unfortunate for him but it's still okay he has a huge life leap here we go with still a reading the bad dash and punishing accordingly thank you very much dry codex for the follow very well appreciated welcome to the brojo and here we go with the instant air grab man look at stella definitely on point man that was crazy good here we go with again the use on sen pressure right there definitely harassing his opponent unfortunately for not he didn't quite he didn't quite manage that uh that uh midi on the Okizeme, he was instantly grabbed by Stella and immediately lost every sort of momentum he was about to get in. Here we go with the uh, Kabari for the win. Very nicely done by Stella. Takes the second round as well, the second match, I'm sorry, as well. So not, not on, on his, on the, on his absolute last legs. He's about to be sent to the loser bracket if he doesn't manage to uh, shift the tide right now. Let's see how this pans out. Yo, Cybercat, ça va bien? Comment vas-tu, mec? Ouais, t'as vu, moi j'ai eu de la chance. C'est euh, grâce à Smoib. Smoib, il m'a euh, raid et Smoib s'était ferré par Hotashi. Du coup, là, c'est les, les viewers de Hotashi. Tu vas bien, Cybercat? Ok, and that being said, here we go on to the third match of this, uh, this set. Let's see if Not can shift the tide yet again. We shall see. Here we go with the harassment, man. Stella not giving any sort of respite to Not. And here we go with the. Golden burst. Yeah, not is definitely in a bad predicament right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Very nice uh, timing in order to just go in and put still uh, using the RC to slow down and slow the um, and to uh, gather himself to try to punish not on 
on his way down. Here we go again with the Yozan Sen using the Roman Cancel to finish his plate. Very nicely done by Not. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, already at the start. Tu veux Japon? Oui, je viens au Japon. En effet, je parle pas japonais si bien que ça, mais on se débrouille. <laughs> and here we go with the grab again by Stella. Okay, one with the cross up. Uh, Tatami Graeshi very nicely done again with the reset. He was able to bait the burst. This is gonna be a win. Very nicely done with Stella takes it. Very. It should have been the third, but unfortunately for us, uh, well, I couldn't get hold of one of the participants and I had to disqualify him. This is really unfortunate. Hopefully we won't get a connection error. I really hope we don't, but it is probably going to be the case. Yeah, this is definitely a connection error. Oh, we didn't. I jinxed it and I'm happy I did. <laughs> okay, anyways, there we go. Yunjako, exactly. Okay, and here we go with the start of this uh, match. Immediate burst by Bueno doesn't want to deal with any of the pressure of oh my lord and that snipe bended uh that, that snipe um let's call vortex man very nicely done by bueno even managed to freaking deal a fully charged dust very nicely done by him okay here we go with the rc the um the sliding rc i'll call it my lord this 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 is definitely going ham and it's definitely working for him but as i say this unfortunately you can see caffeine using uh, safe setups in order to deal with the uh, wake up DP from Bueno and just like this he's gonna take it very nicely done by Caffeine takes the first round of this um, of uh, this set let's see how it goes oh my lord oh my lord <laughs> what's going on <laughs> Bueno going ham with the DPs man I've seldom seen so many DPs oh my lord and here we go with the DP very nicely done by Bueno let's see how it goes oh my lord and Caffeine just Having to deal with this pressure, very nicely done. Okay, and here we go. Caffeine was managed to uh, bait this uh, DP very nicely done. Finally has Bueno in the corner. Yeah, I can tell that Caffeine is definitely wary of them DPs. Probably like this is like wondering should I continue my next strings of a uh, pressure or should I just like just guard just in case we never know. Yeah. But anyways, here we go with Bueno being extremely unpredictable. Definitely uh, DP happy, if I might say. And here we go, the minion to save the day. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Takes this first match quite convincingly, if I might say. Thank you very much for the follow on Symmetrical and welcome to the Brojos. Really, really happy to have you over. Okay, and let's uh, see how it uh, goes, basically. Uh, so, here we're waiting for Bueno to get ready. Is he gonna stick with Sol? He does! On to the next battle. The same. Uh, let's see if uh, Bueno is gonna be able to, uh, perhaps... He might want to consider trying not to throw that many DPs this turn this time around. The, yeah, Caffeine definitely caught uh, caught scent of it, I suppose. Let's go, Jacko! Indeed, it's always a pleasure seeing Jacko play, man. I freaking love this character. I hate playing against her, but I freaking love commentating uh, Jacko matchups. And here we go with the start of the round with the Vortex and Caffeine successfully baiting the DP very nicely. Then here we go, the block strings, ensuring that Caffeine can have safe pressure right here so many dp from this way yeah man <laughs> this is crazy okay here we go oh and the sliding roman cancel right there was a little bit too late to try to oh my lord look at the conversion oh oh unfortunately for caffeine wasn't quite able to get the wall break but it's still okay caffeine sits on the burst plus a very nice uh health lead so definitely everything going in her way as i speak here we go with the i believe this is a 6 hs if i'm correct if anybody if i'm not correct please uh, correct me in the chat but i do believe this is the 6 hs a very nice move in the arsenal of caffeine caffeine will go here has the mass remove as you can see the kawaii face of jacko right there she's gonna get the overdrive into hard knockdown what is bueno going to do Okay, I, <laughs> I almost thought that Cafe was going to go for a safe jump to bait the DP, but Bueno was actually uh, was actually reasonable this time around. Here we go with finally the burst from Bueno. Bueno no bueno. Be careful, dude. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Cafe on the verge of taking it. Here we go with the 2S from Jacko. Very nicely done. Bueno, uh, not Bueno, Cafe puts one more on the um, on the board. Okay, things are looking a little bit dire for Bueno. Hopefully for him, he's going to find a way to shift the momentum and uh, and possibly put one on the board. Hopefully for him, this is all I can hope for him, but we'll see. Anyways, that being said, moving on to the next battle. Uh, let's see if uh, 
Bueno sticks with his gun or if he will decide to, uh, well, basically change character. But no, he goes with Saul. Okay, well, I mean, if he's, it's probably his main Saul. He probably doesn't have a, a sub character. But that being said, here we go. Best of five indeed. Yes, first to three. Okay, and here we go with the next battle. Hopefully the connection will hold up. And it does. I'm so happy. No connection error so far. So good, guys. I'm actually pretty happy. Here we go. The, uh, uh, Google, shut up. I'm sorry, my Google Nest keeps uh, talking to me. It's really annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go with the wake up DP from Bueno. Go straight with the uh, what's it called the, uh, the, the the command grab, but Caffeine aware of it managed to actually backdash and punishes accordingly. Ooh, that was a bad lead time six inches, but it's still okay. My lord, just Bueno going to still with the command grab. <laughs> my lord, I've seldom seen a soul as aggressive as Bueno as. Oh my lord, that that's actually pretty crazy. Very nicely done by Bueno, finally takes a round. Very nicely done, here we go with the whip punishes and Caffeine trying to uh, really, really like discreetly and safely try to uh, put her minions on the stage to have some, um, well, basically to, um, to uh, I suppose, to have more possibilities, offense possibilities. And here we go again with Caffeine managed to put some distance between her and her opponent. Okay, here we go, very nice use of the minions to just basically a zone bueno out okay here we go very nice confirm got the roman cancel the extension is he gonna oh he didn't get the wall break this is unfortunate but still okay the pressure is still here oh lord my lord oh <laughs> okay here we go again with the gun flame from bueno managed to get the counter and you couldn't quite juggle right after it's unfortunate okay the bandit bringer got with but no punish on it Oh, here we go with the Vortex and Caffeine definitely catching up to this. Oh my lord, the big... Oh, and the combos are here. Very nicely done by Bueno. Almost got the follow-up. Okay, this is gonna be a zoning game. That was basically checkmate. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Takes it three... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm done. I'm not. I'm done. <laughs> no, doesn't take it. I'm stupid. Yeah, actually. Uh, bueno got the first round. So, let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the wall break. Caffeine on the verge of taking it. Oh, didn't quite get the follow up. Here we go. The, oh, the bended bringer. And the bended revolver. Boop, bloom. Uh, is she gonna take it? Okay, this is unfortunate. A little slight drop from Caffeine. Here we go with Bueno using the, the bended revolver to try to catch the back dashes from Caffeine. Oh my lord, and just letting the DP rip. And unfortunately for him, the burst was a little bit too high. And. This goes this time around the way. It's going to be Stara against RX. RX, we haven't seen him play, uh, unfortunately, because his opponent didn't show up. <laughs> so I'm really, really looking forward to how his testament is going to play. Very nice. And uh, well, air to air by Stella, he was able to bring RX in the corner, but air RX making very, very intelligent use of the skull and the fairies to get out of the corner using the teleport. And here we go with RX trying to uh, stain his opponent. Very nice 6P from RX, man. Very nicely done. But unfortunately for him, this time around, Stella was a little bit too quick to uh, use the IED and then um, uh, land on his opponent with the jumping HS, which has a huge downward hitbox and uh, pretty much like completely killed any startup of the 6P of uh, Testament. Here we go with the grab of RX. He has Stella right where he wants and just like this he takes the first round. Clean first round by RX. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see if Stella is gonna be able to uh, bring some adjustment and take the second round. A very, very high goes on 10 right there. RX probably could have uh, either punished it or tried to get back his turn. Anyways, here we go with the stained and a quick burst right there from Stella. Who? again uses the jump and the very low hitbox of the HS to uh, open his opponent up and here we go with the 6 e uh, right after the RC oh here we go using the Kabadi no you're not going anywhere stay here <laughs> oh lord this is actually very very treacherous using the TP while being Kabari that was very treacherous here we go with RX has Stella right where he wants him decides not to use the burst for obvious reasons Usually I root for Biken, but test is so rare. Let's go test that. Yeah, man. Tester are a rare, rare, rare uh, character in, especially in tournaments, actually. And I've not seen that many. So, yeah, myself, I'm quite happy to see RX um, playing uh, them. 
And as you can see, Arx actually has the yellow aura, so that means that he's been playing Testa a lot, probably. Okay, anyways, that being said, here we go with the Stained Stira, uh correctly and successfully, uh, what's it called, um, takes the throw attempt from Rx. Here we go, but this time around wasn't able to take it. Here we go with the conversion of Rx and the extension. Oh, no, you are not going to oh, land on me. Very nice. Oh, standing the reaction uh, from Rx managed to actually hit Stara out of the air. Okay, here we go. This is really going down to the wide. And the air grab for the win by Rx puts one on the board. Very nicely done. Indeed, let's go. Testa. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for Testa. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really not gonna lie. I really like the character. But then again, I like uh, some good old bike and play as well. So really, I'm, 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 I'm for everybody. As long as uh, they put up a good show, that's all I'm rooting for. <laughs> Okay, that being said, here we go on to the next battle. Let me check real quick the... Uh, okay, let me check real quick the bracket just to see if everything is going well. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, that being said, here we go with the aerial overdrive from Stara. Finally, uh, well, actually gets the... Hard knockdown. He was about to get another wall break right there, but unfortunately dropped the combo. He tried to snipe his opponent, but the recovery from RX was a bit too quick. That's him. Oh, but here we go with the RC slide right there and managed to punish the 6B from RX. I want both to win exactly. The battle of um the battle of the, the awesome characters, I suppose. Here we go with the Kabari. Stara making good use of the Kabari to, to uh, basically punish any backdash attempt from RX. And here we go with the quick use on Sen. Oh, he almost got the wall break, but it's still okay. He went for a cheeky grab, but RX on, on point right there. Successfully takes the throw attempt. Oh my lord, did you see that? The use of the uh, the two HS in order to go right under the skull that RX had put on the that had thrown in the direction of Stella, and just like this, Terra actually manages to put one on the board. That was one quick freaking match. I don't even think I had the time to commentate the very first round of this uh, of this uh, second match here. But very nice stuff from Stera. Both uh, players definitely uh, on point, man. When it comes to um, when it comes to um, uh, to uh, to what they're doing right now. Okay, and that being said, here we go on to the next battle. It's going to be the third match between both of these very very good players. And here we go with a quick standing S from Forest, actually. From Stara manages to hit Arx. Okay, here we go with the Kabari. Stara definitely Kabari. Oh, Savvy and Kabari. Uh, crazy right there. He's using Kabari quite a lot. And for very good reasons, actually. It actually goes over uh, the skull of... Um, of um, well, of Testament. And uh, actually, if he hits... Testament with the Kabari, it nullifies uh, the skull, so it's uh, yeah, it's a win-win situation. Okay, here we go with the Schmixes and RX using the Yellow Roman cancel to get out of the pressure, and just like this with the confirm into the overdrive. This is a quick round for Stellar. Very nicely done. Good stuff right there. Losers 1回戦でなかなか対戦できない状況なので、えっと進行遅れてしまう。全然大丈夫ですよ、ノットさん。あとはえっと。えっと、え、そうですね。もう okay, here we go with the uh, very uh, nice use of the aerial uh, of the uh, what's called the, the the gun overdrive of uh, Stera and Baiken to try to keep the pressure, but that being said, RX using very nice the uh, Dinos Drovia right there got the stain on Stella if he hits him. Yeah, this is gonna be a nut. Oh my lord, unfortunately for him, yeah. Ah, ah yeah, he went just right, right uh, behind the, uh, the, the two fairies. This is unfortunate for uh, Stera. He really uh, had a very good use of the, the burst right there. This is really unfortunate, but it's still okay. That being said, it's really, really okay. Here we go with the... Oh, the 6P reaction from RX are crazy good, man. We're going down to the wire on this one as well. One round apiece, and here we go with Stella again with the the optimized combo, and he went for the fully charged dust. Here we go. Are you... Yeah, burst, of course. He had to burst, man. Oh, he had to burst. Very nicely done. Stella, not afraid, man. Not afraid. And here we go with the stained... Oh, and he successfully hit him. 
late. Okay, here we go with the follow-up. Oh, a little bit too late. You tried to... Oh, my lord, and he even punished the overdrive attempt from Stella. Very nicely done, Barrex. Oh, unfortunately for him, he... <gasps> no! He gave up. Well, no, he didn't give up, but he... Oh, he, he, he was a little bit too passionate right here, Rx, I feel. And unfortunately for him, he just let the overdrive rip, and Rx took this chance to punish him accordingly and take this third match right here. Very nicely done by Stella. Very nice awareness from him to recognize that he went for the... Uh, for the... Uh, not for the Nostrovia, but the other one. And yeah, very nice recognition that you could just run up right after it and punish him accordingly. That was really well played by Rx, or by, by Stera. But it's still not over till it's over. Rx definitely is not out of this yet. You can see that he's doing quite well. He did manage to take a round in the previous match, so it's definitely not over till it's over. Here we go with, again, the 6P counter hit right there and immediate burst from Stera already out of burst. If he gets hit right there, Oh, especially in... Oh, my lord. And here we go with the, the, the grab. Oh, and the back dash. The cheeky back dash from Stella punishes the grab attempt from RX with a grab from his own. And you go again with the 6 speed. And here we go. You are in stun. Stained. Oh, and the juggle from RX. It was crazy good. Very nicely done. Calamity. Yeah, the calamity. Here you go. Thank you very much, Winner. I still don't know all of the name of every single move in the game. Unfortunately, I still need to work on that as a tournament organizer and commentator. Here we go with the 2HS counter hit from Stera. Brings RX in the corner. He went for a quick dust this time around yet again. And here we go. RX a little bit shy to press any button. Uh, in between the uh, pressure of Stera, and this is for obvious reason. You don't want to get hit by, you don't want to be counter hitted by uh, Biken in general. And just like this, Biken, Stera is going to take this round as well. We are on set point. Is our eggs going to be able to bring it back? Oh, and again with the start of the 2HS right there, sweeps our X off of his feet and not in a very romantic way. And that being said, here we go with Stera, who tried to bait the burst, but our X not biting and he really did good of not of not biting there again that being said here we go with Sarah. i think he's trying to fight oh and here oh he tr probably tried to yeah to uh he wanted to use his gun overdrive okay here we go back to the neutral and rx still needs to get rid of the burst of stara if he wants to oh damn yeah yeah he needs to get rid of the burst of stara if he wants to take it oh my lord and just the gold burn no <laughs> that round. It is a run back Murasaki Megu against Caffeine during the previous the previous uh, Brojo Cup. Uh, Caffeine actually puts Hello Mother Humper. <laughs> Caffeine actually put Megu in the losers bracket, then Megu uh, ended up fighting him in the losers final and eliminated him actually. So it's the run back. How are you doing, Hakuman? Welcome back. Long time no see, brother. And here we go with oh my lord, the big uh, standing S counter hit from Murasaki Megu successfully throws the sword to snipe Caffeine out of the air and just like this he's gonna get the overdrive into the hard knockdown this is gonna be a big big opportunity for Megu this oh okay here we go the badly timed the uh, block turn right there Caffeine was able to actually uh, hit hit Megu uh, not hit but grab him out of his block string but then again it's still okay Megu was able to uh, get back on his feet and take this first round. Here we go, Caffeine trying to put as many uh, minions on the ground as possible to try to, uh, well, uh, start his game plan. But that being said, Megu didn't give him any time to do so. He immediately puts him in the corner, breaks the wall with his face, and here we go with the Ram Slam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling this move the Megu Slam, man. Wow! Oh, Megu not finishing his sandwich right here what are you doing oh my lord and he gets grabbed by caffeine you do not want to be in the corner when you're playing against a oh and here we go with the far s uh for the win and just like this megu takes the first uh match quite convincingly actually very nicely done by him let's see if uh caffeine is going to be able to uh shift the tide and shift the momentum and eventually bring it back it is definitely far from being over don't worry caffeine knows how to deal with this type of situation he was in it uh, in the previous tournament as well and he brought it back very 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 convincingly so let's see if he can do so in this tournament as well here we go no connection error i am glad <laughs> okay let's see how this pans out okay and here we go with the okay here we go uh, we have Caffeine trying to put Megu in the corner unfortunately for him a very nicely timed uh 
burst by Megu, uh, well, enabled him to put Caffeine in the corner, but unfortunately Caffeine found its way out, and here we go with the confirm on the 6HS, couldn't quite juggle uh, right after, oh, okay, here we go with Caffeine trying to use Quick Dust to try to open his opponent up, finally Caffeine resorting to using the burst, trying to zone Megu out of the air, man, using the freaking minions as a football right there, and just like this, Caffeine takes one well one round that is okay, let's see if he can take the second one as well here we go the maneuver of migu in the air and on the ground is actually pretty good like really not trying he's trying not to get pinned down by caffeine or his minion or their minions i'm sorry oh that was a dust i think that was probably uh uh what's it called a um input error yeah definitely okay, here we go migu looking pretty good has one bar of tension so this is going to be a world of hurt for caffeine if he gets open a second time here we go the quick dust man and through caffeine still still blocking man yeah actually the blocks from caffeine have been pretty crazy here we go ramp slam yes i know i know you megu i know you <laughs> okay just for the info if you see megu with at least one bar of tension there is a 85 percent chance that megu will ramp slam whatever he's currently doing <laughs> just for the info Okay, here we go with Megu, uh, try to put Caffeine in the corner, but Caffeine actually uh, recognizing the uh, gaps in the onslaught of Megu and pressing and mashing, well, let's say pressing uh, intelligently and accordingly, managed to get out of the pressure, go with the 6HS whiff, but not punished by Megu again with the 6HS, man, Caffeine, definitely on Caffeine when it comes to using the 6HS, indeed. Okay, here we go again, Megu with the Rick man. Puts Caffeine in the corner, and here we go. Oh, finally, Caffeine actually managed to get a Golden Burst app out of all of this ordeal, but my lord, the patience from Megu finally pays off, and he takes the second match as well. It was actually pretty close, but yeah, just Megu pulling out the extra mile and just manages to take it back, man. Very nicely done. Good stuff by both players still. But uh, yeah, just Megu came out on top on this one. It's still not over till it's over. Caffeine still has one more chance. Actually, he well, he he still has like a he, he can still bring it back. It might be a little bit hard, might be a little bit complicated, but it's not impossible. Especially knowing Caffeine. Please don't give me a connection error. Please don't give me a connection error, please. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, here we go. What the hell? Okay, just one second, guys. Oh, okay, here we go. Should actually put this. I didn't put this down. Um, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, sorry for the wait, and uh, just like this, Megu managed to put Caffeine in the corner yet again. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The quick both opponents are burstless right now. The person who gets open will get hit, and there's nothing they'll be able to do about it. Here we go with the minion hitting Megu right in the <laughs> right in the back. <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but anyways, hitting Megu right in the back, and there we go. We're back in the zoning game from Caffeine. Let me tell you that Caffeine is really proficient when it comes to hitting and throwing their minions in your face and just like this caffeine takes the first round let's see if he can finally take one match off of this or off of megu oh here we go again with the snipe from megu oh you're swordless what are you gonna do okay here we go and the oh my lord yeah this is probably the worst possible position could be in here we go with caffeine and the tick throw okay you're in the corner yeah you have to hold this you have to hold this you have to hold it or not actually Go with the grab. Oh, and the golden burst. And what did I tell you guys? <laughs> I told you. Megu has bars. He's going to ram slam your butt, man. I told you. And here we go again with the grab from Megu. Oh, Megu, the badly timed grab. This is unfortunate. Oh, what was that? Was that intentional? That was crazy good. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Takes finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he can continue this trend and put yet another one. And after which we will officially have a match very nicely done okay let me check real quick ah we just it smashed the net okay okay i get to the mask thank you this okay okay just in case okay perfect perfect, perfect. uh okay we're good okay everything's going pretty good uh i'm happy i am pretty happy okay and here we go with 
the start of the pressure by Caffeine. Successfully baited the burst, but the the burst timing made it so that it was extremely hard for Caffeine to get any sort of punish off of it. It's still okay. He still managed to uh, bait the burst, so it's a win in itself. Here we go, trying to put minions on the ground, but Megu, as soon as he sees a minion on the uh, stage immediately kills it, so yeah, it's really hard for Caffeine to do anything about it, but here we go, and Caffeine, my lord, that pressure, that pressure in the corner was mad good, and here we go with the, uh, the second match of, well, not the second match, the second round of this, oh, of this match, how is it gonna go with the very epic music, I believe this is a Grand Blue Fantasy versus, uh, the GM, and I love this, uh, the, this, this team, by the way, but the, anyways, go back, going back to the... Going back to the match, here we go with Caffeine doing a good job of mixing his opponent right there, and yet again, is he gonna... No, no time to use the overdrive, this is unfortunate, but it's still okay. He has a, a slight health lead, but it's still... He's still going to make... Yeah. He's still going to, uh... To... Uh, within the gap right there, and here we go again with the ramp slam. I told you, oh, that big 6p counter hit. Megu, this is your part or opportunity. Oh, and the snipe from Caffeine, and here we go, guys. We have a match. It's crazy hype. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Let's see if Murasaki Megu is going to be able to uh, get a hold of the momentum this time around, because this is all Caffeine right there. Damn, this is crazy, man. These two guys, they have this... This slight rivalry between each uh, uh, between each other, it's really, really nice to see. And that being said, here we go on to the next battle. This match will determine who will be going on to the winner's final. And here we go, we're in! Yes, no connection error, I'm so happy. Okay, we're good. So let's see, here we go, the far S and the trade between Caffeine and Megu. Okay, Caffeine with already two minions on the ground, and you have to hold the pressure. Very nice conversion from Caffeine, and just like this, he managed to burn, to bait the burst, oh lord, saved by the burst, uh, saved by the Roman cancel, just like this, Caffeine manages to take it, we are on set point, is Caffeine going to send Megu in the loser's bracket, or is Megu going to be able to bring it back, we shall see in a couple of minutes, here we go, finally, the burst from Caffeine, forced to do so in order to get out of the pressure. Here we go with the juggle using the minion. And Megu in the corner has to... Oh, very nice use of the far S to kill the minion. And stagger a bit. Cafe... Oh, here we go. And the yellow room and cancel baited by Megu. Did a lot of damage, actually. Counter it. Okay, here we go. Back in the neutral. Caffeine trying to put as many minions as possible on the floor to try to have... to within the possibilities. Oh my lord, yeah, this is all a zoning game. Oh, and the... Oh, that air maneuvering from Megu doing a good job to maneuver around every single minion. From Gavin, the big... Oh, the big counter hit. No, oh, oh, how is it gonna finish? Oh, and the ramp slam. Oh, then it's an Oh, here we go. No, no. Oh, no, kill by the explosion of the, the freaking swords. And here we are in the last round of the last match. Uh, of these guys, let's see how this pans out, and for now, it is a slight health lead from from Caffeine and Megu, not afraid to just run straight towards Caffeine, a very nice 2D counter hit into the juggle with the minion, and you can see Caffeine pestering Megu, man, doesn't want, oh, the Roman cancel right there to go underneath the jumping as from Megu, Caffeine doing a good job of just zoning Megu out, man. Oh, and the throw attempt. I was unfortunately not very well spaced. Oh, here we go. Is it gonna do? Oh, oh, oh lord. That was such. Uh, today, he rocked the Giovanna. He was sent unfortunately to the loser's bracket by Stirasan. But it's still okay. He has one more chance right there to make a comeback. And Lin Nissan, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the Brail Joes. This ram had no answer for the adjustments through the comeback. Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was uh, unfortunate, but I'm sure that uh, Megu is going to find adjustment in uh, one way or the other. It was the same thing during the last tournament. Caffeine actually sent Megu in the loser's bracket, and Megu uh, brought it back, came back to the loser's um, losers final, and actually managed to uh, to win against uh, Caffeine, so it's definitely not over until it's over. And here we go with the Yellow Roman cancel from the... Here we go, the Onslaught, and the rocking the Nagori Yuki, by the way. And 
sure, the, the far slash for the win by D, very nicely done. Uh, I mean, this reminds me of last week. Well, it does, man. This is like a reiteration of last week. <laughs> this is exactly the same thing. I think you lost to, uh, to Caffeine in the loser, the uh, semifinals as well. So it's exactly the same pattern, man. Back to him and the winners. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's the same. It's the same pattern, man. Then one, two sets, exactly. Okay, here we go with the pressure from Nod doing a good job of mixing there. Uh, oh, and the charge does this is gonna do a lot, and it's not gonna kill because uh, because Nagoru Yuki, but uh, it's definitely gonna do a lot of damage. Very nicely done. Here we go, the flip kick, and D not afraid of pressing buttons. Very nicely done. Doesn't quite get something. Oh, and the the, the six speed to punish D for HS attempt from Not, and here we go. Finally pushes Not and forces him to. Burst is not going to take it. Yes, not takes this round right there, and on to the final, um, the final round of this match right here. I got Zeech to contest with now. <laughs> I live for more. Though. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, good luck, good luck, man. Zeech is, uh, Zeech is, is, it might be a little bit hard, but uh, do your best, man. Do your best. Zeech is always, um, is always on fire. But so can you! If you believe in yourself, just believe! And here we go with the follow-up of the DP4D. He takes the first match of this uh, set. Let's see if uh, Nod is going to be able to turn the tide and bring it back. We shall see in a couple of seconds. Um, but yeah, so far so good. But it was actually pretty um, pretty tight between both of these uh, players. It's definitely not one-sided. It can be anybody's game. I believe in Kai and say, yes, believe in me, believe in you, believing in you. <laughs> Here we go, on to the next battle. No connection error, I'm so happy. And here we go, very nice confirm from D, the 2K into the Beyblade. And unfortunately for him, you were a little bit too, uh, a little bit too, uh, too hungry right there, D. Oh, in the 6 speed, nice recognition using the recovery from the Blood Rage. The, the small uh, uh, screen still in order to punish the uh, the um, the cannon drill from not and here we go the close S this should do yeah this is gonna do very nicely done Kai and Kamina uh, who's Kamina <laughs> I don't know any Kamina I'm just Kai and man just Kai and. <laughs> how you doing drill Samuel damn it's big D exactly big D <laughs> sounds like a true battle based on knowing each other's style exactly it is man it is. I like the way that you um, that you sum up exactly what's going on in the match on Symmetric World. It actually makes it a lot easier for me to commentate because you, you sum up exactly what, what's happening on screen. And here we go with the, the big uh, the big jumping HS counter hit. Unfortunately for Nod, he's gonna be yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fall. He fell, and D takes the second match. Not really needs to find some way to uh, change the tide of the battle because everything's going these ways right now. Let's see if uh, Not can, uh, yeah, find something, some some way to reverse the tide. Cause uh, yeah, uh, if he doesn't, then unfortunately he is going to be eliminated from this tournament. But that being said, let's move on to the next battle. Let's see if uh, uh, some adjustment will be brought or not. Okay, early burst from D, forced to do so, thanks to pressure from Not. Here we go, yeah, D definitely fishing for them dashes from Giovanna, man. Oh, and the throw attempt that is adequately punished by D, very nicely done. The read from this dude has been pristine, man. Oh, and here we go, finally the aerial attempt from Not. And yeah, D definitely on point, man. He's not letting anything go by, man. Nothing. And you're, oh, yeah, but oh, okay, finally not taking some courage and just dashing straight to try to start something. Unfortunately for him, he gets grabbed, and D ends up being on set point right there. What is not going to do? And again, the 2K into the Beyblade for the opening early wall break right there is going to give the positive bonus to D. Oh, here we go, the flip kick, Not needs to get something going right now. Oh, unfortunate for him, but it's still okay. The simple Tira actually hit on the ground. He was quite able to get the hard knockdown because of it. And here we go, the Azamari Yuki to get, uh, yeah, to just close the distance, man. Oh, and here we go, the Ventania for the hard knockdown. This is going to do a lot of damage, actually. Okay, not definitely not out of this. He can potentially make a comeback. Oh, and no confirms on this, this is unfortunate, but yeah, still, D did have, like, 
Ooh, damn, this is hurts. Oh, that took it. Oh, Lord, the awareness from D, man. You cannot jump on this man, man. And here we go with the 2S counter head into the standing HS, man. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, yeah. Uh, that, that was really, really well done by D. Takes. So, Murasaki Megu against Zeej, the Battle of the Brothers. Please work. Yes, it worked. Perfect. We are good. We are in, guys. And here we go. Quick Fukio from Zeej trying to poke Megumi out of whatever he's trying to do. Oh, here we go with the Beyblade and Murasaki Megu trying to fly pressure a little bit too far to try to get anything going. That with punish on the far S was crazy good, but unfortunately for Zeej, again, Zeej, you are too hungry, man. <laughs> you have to manage your blood rate better than that. <laughs> you know, that being said, it's okay. It doesn't happen that often. Usually, well, it happens like once or twice for Zeej, but he usually uh, pays a little bit more attention the more uh, time goes, so it should be okay. Here we go with D DP and DP follow up on block, and Zeej already searching for blood. Oh, smelling blood right here. Oh, okay, here we go with Zeej using the Fukio. Okay, you better uh, get a small eye on your blood gauge still, dude. And here we go with Megu, finds the opening, gonna get the wall break. Even with the overdrive, by the way, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, and here we go, the, the backdash from Zeej was really, really well done. He catches the backdash of Megu. Here we go, Zara Meyuki. Okay, and here we go back in the neutral game. And unfortunately for Megu, gets needed on Wake Up. Very nicely done by Zeej. Let's see if he can keep this up. Well, he's definitely looking good for him, he has his burst. Okay, here we go with Murasaki Mingu trying to find an angle at which he can actually try and open him his open it up. Oh, I guess I'm about to see some shenanigans. Yes, hopefully. If if Zij doesn't like uh, commit to like spending too much blood, then yes, probably you will. <laughs> we shall see. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Megu finding the opening and nope, punish accordingly with oh, ooh, and here you go, Zij, knowing that Megu is gonna wake up with the. Overdrive. That being said, he's not out of the wood yet because he's in Ram territories right there. And here we go, Ram with the schmixes and the wreck and the pressure. If Zij gets hits once right now, it's over for him. <laughs> Look at the oh my lord, and the wrist gauge. He's just pulling through, man. And again with the wrist gauge, man. And Megu just sticking to him like glue, man. And finally gets opened up, and that should do. Very nicely done by Megu, takes the first match pretty convincingly. That was actually pretty tight at the end of this third round, but still, Zij is not one to be uh, discarded right away. You can... <laughs> this dude has a very, very high potential of adaptation. It wouldn't surprise me if he ends up like taking every single remaining matches after this one. So let's see how this pans out. And back to this battle is going to be Megu against Zij. Second match. Let's see how this unfolds. That's wrist bar was about to break. It was, man. It was about to burst out of this world. And unfortunately, I think we are. We are in. Yes. I was going to say we're going to get a connection error, but thankfully we didn't. So I'm happy. And here we go with the immediate onslaught from Zij. Definitely out for blood. And unfortunately, his Fukio gets hit by the Megu Slam. I'm not calling it the Ram Slam anymore. It's, it's obviously Megu's favorite. His favorite move. Okay, here we go. Back on the pressure from Zij. Uh, from, from Megu. But Zij actually using the backdash yet again to get out of pressure range. Okay, here we go. Back with the Risk Bar, man. The Risk Bar. Oh my lord. And the quick dust by Megu for a lot of damage but all things considered even if it, all of his like his uh wrist bar was full that wasn't a lot of damage to be quite honest that being said here we go with the jumping S for the win very nicely done by Murasaki Megu Zij uh, in dire straight right there actually because um uh, he can't quite I yeah has problems like I, I feel like he has problems uh, the, getting his game going but just as I say this commentator's curse he's he's running a train on Megu right now <laughs> let's see how it pans out is Megu going to be able to survive this next Okizeme or not it all depends on him and Z here we go with the end of his blade from the Beyblade manages to take this second round 
And here we go again with the Beyblade and Megu with punishing actually whatever button Zeej pressed right now. Here we go again with the Rekka. He has Zeej exactly where he wants a double. Double ID, well not double ID, but double overhead right there. Instant. Oh, unfortunately for Zeej, the standing, the close S didn't anti-air. Oh, and the shimmy, man. That was a huge shimmy. <gasps> and that with punish using the standing 4HS from Zeej was crazy good. Zeej again using the backdash to try to get out of the pressure range from Megu, but Megu just doing a good job of maneuvering like um, in the air and trying to close the gap between him and Zeej. Yeah, Zeej is definitely- Oh, and here we go, the ramp set, but you don't have any bars! Oh, Zeej going ham with the use of his blood gauge, he wants it, if he doesn't open it up, it's open now, yeah. Oh, Lord! And the chip damage, he basically killed! He got this win at the second, at the frame where his blood rage uh, was supposed to happen. That was crazy clutch, and if blood rage happened right there, he would have lost this match. That was crazy clutch. Very nicely done. Good awareness from Zeej to just go all in and uh, and just take it, man. Ouais, elle rigole zéro là. Ah bah non, elle rigole pas, mec. Hein. Ah, Megu, il est, c'est un tryhard, mec. Hein. Il déconne pas, il déconne pas. And here we go on to the third match. Hopefully, we won't get a connection error. I feel like we are not. Perfect. I like jinxing myself. This is uh. A very nice skill that I have acquired uh, three times, and here we go with the tick throw from Megu. Oh, here we go, the empty jump into a low, but successful. Siege successfully uh, blocks it. Here we go, Siege out of the corner using the Zaramayuki to try to uh, block any attempt of Megu using the uh, sword throw. And here we go again with Zid using the RC. And Megu has one bar. She's definitely he's definitely gonna use the ram slap. Or not, actually, I'm jinxing it. Is he? Is he not? Nope, no ram slam for you. Oh, okay, he's gonna go, yeah. Roman cancel into which makes have to hold it. Oh Lord and Zid using the yellow Roman cancel. Very nicely done. But yeah, as you can see, Zid is out of options right there. Yeah, and this is going to spell death. And Megu on the verge of potentially taking this third match. We shall see. Very nice check on the Fukio again. The check with the Fukio on the Fukio. Ah, uh, but this time around, Zid using the uh, the Beyblade to punish the attempt of punish of Megu on the Fukio. A nice little check. It'll make him think twice before pressing this 2K next time. Here we go. The ah uh, the six H's. On the ground does so much damage, and here we go with the Blood Rage. Oh. Okay, here we go again, yeah, Roman cancel, and Onslaught is here, Zeej man, not afraid of popping this freaking Blood Rage all the time, man. He's been having a 100% Blood Rage, like, uh... He's been hitting the Blood Rage 100% of the, the, the time at every single round. Okay, and here we go with Meg, who finally the opening forces the burst on Zeej, but Zeej finally manages to get out of the corner and is immediately sent back to it as I speak. Okay, and here we go, the ram pressure is real. Grabs, no grabs. Oh, and the overdrive, very nice confirmed from Megu. He's on the verge of taking it. And the empty low for the win. Very nicely done. The empty uh, grab, sorry, for the win. Very nicely done by Megu, takes the second match. Let's see if Zeech can try to, uh, well, to adapt basically, to shift the tide, man. This is all in, the ball is in his court, and the necessity to adapt right now is entirely upon him so let's see how he man he will manage to um well to uh to bring it back we shall see we shall see we shall see okay and that being said i let's find a stream okay here we go okay and on to the potential final uh match of this set we shall see uh let me just send a real quick message to bueno Hopefully we'll see you during next journey as well. Okay, here we go. So, and back to the match. Very nice burst bait from Zeed, man. Immediately punished Megu and ends up taking this round. That was crazy good. Here we go again with the start of the match with the DP from Zeed. Nope. 
You pressed a button and you got hit by the Beyblade counter hit. The worst possible outcome of this again with the Beyblade. Definitely noticing that Megu is uh, reacting to these Fukio and now Z resorts to using the um, well the Beyblade to uh, punish these attempts to punish a potential Fukio. Okay, here we go again with Zeej back in zoning. Oh, back in neutral. Ah, good, good. Looks like two Gundam blowing each other up exactly. It's basically that, man. Oh, and he gets hit by the explosion from the swords. It's unfortunate again with the overdrive wall break from Megu. Let's see how Zeej manages to get out of the... No! Oh, here we go. You are... Oh, he uses... Uh, successfully uses... Yo, Tatami, Tatami, you can. This is gonna not do, actually. Oh, and saved by the burst. Are you serious? Ah, oh, this is unfortunate. And just like this, Murasaki Megu actually, uh, well, is on match point, that is. And here we go with the successful punish on the Fukio. Very nicely done by Megu. Okay, Megu not afraid to just dash straight up and, and punish stuff that Zeke is throwing out in his face. Oh, okay, very nicely done. Here we go. ZJ recognizing that Megu uh, was called dashes after a block 5 HS. And here we go. Uses the Beyblade to punish the uh, dash attempt this time around. 2-2-2. Two two two. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. How is this going to pan out? I really cannot say who is going to win. I really can't. It's like impossible to uh, determine who's going to win. Also, just uh, a, a quick note, not tournament related, but we have just passed the... 900 followers we're currently sitting at 903 followers i'm really really happy thank you very much guys for your follow it's really really appreciated and it encourages me to continue doing what i do so thank you very much again for uh, all of your follows it's really really awesome that being said we are back to the match and let's see how this pans out here we go with the Fuku into the grab by Z. and unfortunately for him megu wakes up at the precise timing to actually get the gold burst very nicely done and here we go megu tried to bait the burst from zij as well but zij holding on to it rightfully so let's go megu megu getting a little bit of uh yeah getting some support in the oh with that back dash to punish the throw attempt from megu who basically out of the corner ran towards it and tried to grab him very nicely done here we go again with the DP into the Fukio by Zij. Okay, he successfully landed that uh, that command grab. Oh, the pressure is real again. The command grab. But yeah, you can see that Megu is afraid to press buttons right there, rightfully so. He is finally forced to burst, man. Oh, and this is gonna this is gonna do yeah. There, that comeback from Zij was crazy good. It's like it's like guaranteed. I don't know why, by the way, but I suppose it's because everybody like comes home from work. And uh, they're eager to play, to play some Guilty Gear, I guess. But anyways, that being said, here we are. We are in the match. Congratulations, me. Congratulations, everybody. All of you guys, you did a fantastic job. We did it, guys. We're in. That being said, here we go with RX and D both duking it out, man. It's like some cursed timing reset. I know, right? It's always during the same time. And you'll see, starting 11 p.m., we won't have a single connection error. It's I can guarantee you. It's going to be like this. It's always like this. And that being said, here we go with the OTG from D. He's on the verge of taking this first round. And RX showing some courage, just running straight and hitting the six feet. Okay, oh my lord, D a little bit too late on the anti airs right there. Here we go, RX has the stain. Okay, he decides not to use the Nostrovia. Not to be, uh, not to be... Oh, and just like this, no, RX was on the verge of taking it, but no, actually, you couldn't have to take it. Oh, God, oh, that tick, that tick was godlike, but unfortunately for RX, he gets chipped out. This is unfortunate for him. Uh, you're most likely, indeed. Oh, okay, here we go, and the air-to-air, -air, the air-to-air -air, uh, trade right there. Ooh, very nice AI IAD from RX was able to go over that 2S from uh, from uh, from uh, D. Yeah, good guy. Good good job, guys. Good job, good job. Nah, no, it's not me. I didn't do anything. I just played a banana. That's all I did. And here we go. RX again using the IADs, noticing that D is being a little bit too uh, 
too uh, ex eager to just zone and uh, yeah, Arx is just doing a good job of uh, taking advantage of it. Okay, what's gonna be the Okizeme? Currently T is... Yes, he went with the crossover. This is so cheeky. I love doing this myself when I play uh, Testament. Very nicely done by Rx. Takes one round as well. And here we go with the... Um, the wake up command grab and another command grab from D. He has Rx exactly where he wants. And Rx using the... Uh, the uh, DTP to try to delay his fall and mess up with the entire timing of T. Very nicely done. Again, RX using the uh, Karasu, the Karasu, which is uh, Crow, the, the name Crow, the, using his Crow to stain T. D, I'm sorry, not T. Oh, here we go. Why does it hit so low? Does it make any sense? Oh, this is the opportunity for RX to put some damage right there. Is he gonna take it? Here we go, Nostrovia in your butt. Is it gonna do? Yeah, this is. No! You should have just run, but it's okay, it's okay. He still got it. Very nicely done by RX. Takes the first match of this uh, of this set. Very nicely done. Is D going to be able to bring it back? We shall see in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay, here we go. On to the next battle. It's gonna be. Well, it's, it's the same <laughs> the same participants, it didn't change. But let's see if D can bring some adjustment to his game plan and immediate start of the round with the DP hits its mark and pushes RX in the corner. You are staying there, miss. Uh, or uh, uh, them. And here we go. You are giving me a good struggle. And here we go with the close S and the 6 HS for the win. Very nicely done by. D doing a very very good job of containing RX and just punishing in all kinds of different ways. Ah, uh, nope, sir, you are not jumping on me. <laughs> okay, back to the neutral. Very nicely done by RX. Very nice grab right there. Really just juggling between all of the different options that RX has. Oh my god, did you see that just block into the grab bar? That was crazy. Ça va très très bien. On est là, on est là, on est bon. Okay, here we go, RX. Couldn't quite juggle with Dinos Drovia right there. That was unfortunate for him. Oh, that instant. I, uh, it wasn't quite instant, but oh, yeah, he's gonna get hit. He's gonna get hit. Uh, yep. Here we go, wake up, overdrive by D. Couldn't take any more. Uh, couldn't get any. Couldn't take any more. Uh, what's it called? Um, how do you call it? Um, damn it. Pressure. Damn, I'm losing my English. And very nicely done by RX. Puts one on the board as well. We're on to the final round of this match right here. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Okay, here we go. Very nice spacing from RX. And that TP was godlike. Godlike. Oh, yeah. Almost got hit by the 4 HS right there. Okay, he's got Zeej. Not Zeej. T uh, stained right there. D stained. Another stain for good measures. Okay, unfortunately, if you hit somebody who stained... Oh, damn, that reversal. It was probably just a read. Oh, and here we go again. D again using the... Oh, my lord. That was sick. Oh, RX is sick in a good way. <laughs> Very nicely done. RX takes the second match as well. Let's see if he can take the third one as well and move on to the losers semi-final we shall see in a couple of minutes man these matches tonight have been crazy good it's crazy i'm saying crazy so many times it's crazy anyways here we go on to the next battle backdash was like it was man that backdash was free pure genius right there okay that being said here we are on to the next battle here we go early burst from d doesn't want to deal with any pressure. Oh, and saved by the burst or not, actually. <laughs> okay. Rx actually getting, yeah, one Arbinger right there just for good measures. Better than nothing, if you ask me. Oh, and here we go again. Rx has been using these TP so freaking great. These teleports so great, man. Oh, and that just defend this is definitely intentional. Rx is definitely on point again using the TP. Oh, and no sirree. That setup was god. It was, man. It's godlike. It was definitely godlike. Okay, here we go. RX trying to, yeah, poke. Oh, and this is gonna do the damage of the 6 HS, even on the ground, is crazy good, but still, it's not over. Here we go. The IAD 
uh, HS ro uh, uh, counter hit again with the TP from RX. His use of the TP has been crazy good, man. Whew. And here we go with the stain. Try to burst the, the bait. To, to burst the bait. <laughs> Try to bait the burst. <laughs> I'm getting this less dyslexical. Okay, that being said, here we go with D with the correct uh, pickup from RX. He's gonna get the overdrive into the uh, hard knockdown. Think, yeah! Share the mic! Boom! You have to take the okay. Oh, and the burst page! Oh, and the. Oh, and the, so many things happen in, in such a small amount of time. And this time around, D, aware of the teleportation, punishes RX accordingly. Very nicely. That end sequence was pure reads from D, man. He read layers upon layers upon layers upon layers that was crazy good very nicely done he puts one on the board let's see if he can uh continue in this um in this uh in this way and just uh see if we can get a genuine match or not we shall see here we go start of the round with the dp not uncommon at all and d pushes that burst bait was godlike. Very nicely done by RX. Both of these players have been baiting each other's burst so many times and so so successfully, man. And D using the Fuchsia to get in and out. This is really great. Yo, Trashback, how you doing, man? Ça va bien, Trashback? Bienvenue. Here we go, Arbinger. That's actually... Uh, oh, my lord. The spacing from RX is really good. Very nicely done. Okay, and on to the potential final match of this set. What is D going to do? He has to take it if he wants to stay live. And D6P counter hit into a hefty combo right there. 6 HS to break the wall. This is going to do a lot of damage. We'll use purple. Was the beginning of the momentary shift. It was, man. It was. Okay, here we go with the HS. Oh. Okay, back to neutral. Oh, that whip punish, man. That was crazy good. Okay, RX has... T D uh, stain. He goes for the North Grovia, probably to get the corner carry into the uh, stain. Unfortunately for oh, actually he got the stain, and he even gets the follow up with the Walberry, but it's definitely not over. Here we go. D has some. Oh no, you moved and you got command grab and you got the muddy Yuki, but it's still not. Or it's still uh, match point right there. Let's see if D. Can bring it back though. Oh my lord, that almost punished him. Oh, and here we go the 6P correctly uh, uh, blocked by our eggs. But unfortunately for him, on his way down, he got hit by the standing uh, S, I believe, from the into the normal uh, combo from Nago. No, sir, very nice punish there from RX. Okay, couldn't quite get the uh, stain. He's got it now. Okay, here we go with the Arbinger. Yeah, RX just pestering, man. Just pester. Oh! Is this gonna hit? Oh, unfortunately, a little bit too late. That was the very nice. Oh, and he gets it with the bait of the bird. X against Z. Drax has yet again to face another Nago to Yuki player. He's definitely like, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, we are directly in. It's, this is perfect. So, it does Z have experience with the Testament matchup? It certainly looks so. Here we go with the Beyblade and the uh, grab on wake up. Very nicely done by Zeech. He's on the onslaught. This <laughs> is completely disregarding his blood meter as always. <laughs> okay, here we go. The pressure is real. You have to hold it. Oh, and the badly timed. Thank you very much for the sub. Nice. Praise really, really appreciate it. Welcome back, man. Really appreciate it. And praise the sun. Okay, here we go with. I am the hype! <laughs> and going back with RX. Uh, yeah, back to the neutral. Zij does have the upper hand though because he has a burst plus he has the. Uh, well, he had a tension bar as well. But that being said, uh, RX is definitely not out of this yet. Here we go with the wake up uh, with the uh, surf around with the dragon. Zij already pushing RX in the corner and Zij not giving a schmump about his blood gauge as always okay here we go back to the normal nagori yuki oh okay, here we go zij trying to weather the storm oh saved by the bell he was about to get he was about to get hit 
but while being in stained state. Oh, okay, here we go. The nice confirms from RX. This should do. If it doesn't drop, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, it's good. Nicely done by RX. Takes one round as well. We're on to the final round. Who is going to take the first match? This is definitely very important for uh, morale, that is. So let's see how. Oh, very nice TP right there from RX yet again. Surprises his opponent uh, by coming out of nowhere and grabbing them. Okay, here we go. The skull, the skull. Okay, he decides to use it for stain and not TP this time around. Okay, very nice. IAD right there jumps right on to Z and uses this time D TP to try to uh, sneak in a little grab. Unfortunately for him, Z was definitely on point. Okay, Zeej looking pretty good right there. No entire on the aerial approach from Aris. This is unfortunate for him. Oh, very nicely. Then he tried to bait the burst, but no Zeej holding on to it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. Oh, very nice for HS. Okay, you got rid. Oh, and Aris with the afflicted with the negative penalty. This was really unfortunate for him. This was really unfortunate. Very nicely done by Zeech, he takes the first match, this is definitely good for morale. Let's see if he can continue uh, this. We shall see. Ah, that was crazy, man. Okay, and on to the next battle. Ah, oh, Lord. Lord Almighty. Okay, and on to the second battle. Let's see how both opponents. Well, uh, let's see if uh, RX is capable of of, uh, of adjusting. We shall see it in a couple of seconds. Just one second, guys. Okay, and here we go with the pressure, the very very big pressure from. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm sorry, I had some technical issues and now I have them sorted out. And just like this, our X takes one. Finally. Okay, we're good. So is RX going to continue with this trend or is Z going to deny everything? We shall see. Here we go, the Beyblade pushing our X ever so slightly into the corner. RX this time around using DTP to try to close the gap between him and Z. Again with the TP trying to surprise him. Uh, these uh, aerial skulls have really been working in favor of RX, man. And RX just content to throwing the uh, the crow, staining his opponent, and just hitting his opponent with the Arbinger from far away, which is a perfectly uh, intelligent, a very intelligent uh, strategy, if you ask me. Low risk and uh, pretty decent reward. RX going in with the shenanigans, exactly. Je passais juste, désolé avec le new tab, j'ai plus tard. Y'a pas de ceci, nice. T'excuses pas d'avoir une vie, mais, 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 euh, mec, c'est vraiment pas un problème. C'est bien, c'est pas un souci. Ça me fait juste plaisir que tu passes de temps en temps boire et c'est tout ce que, voilà. C'est tout ce qu'il faut. Mais merci beaucoup encore pour le sub. Et, euh, bon courage pour ton taf, mec. Et j'espère que ça se passe bien d'ailleurs pour le nouveau taf, mec. And just like this, uh, Zij takes one round himself. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with RX using the TP. Oh, almost hit him. Okay, here we go with RX finally resorting to uh, what's called to staining his opponent. Zeej with the four HS. Oh, okay, he's yeah. Okay, getting a little bit impatient right there. I feel Zeej. Is. Okay, here we go. Okay, back to the neutral. I wonder if you can use the Zaramiyuki to go, the clone basically, to go through the skull. Oh, and here we go, the wake up. Oh, 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 no, and the blood. Okay, tried to bait the burst, but Zij remaining strong. Okay, he's gonna try to Arbinger him. Oh, the follow up, the DP follow up for the win. Zij again takes one, man. Zij starting to look for a certain habit. He does, yeah. He's starting to. He's starting to, to use his head right now. <laughs> Very nicely done by Zid, man. Okay, and here we go. On to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Oh my lord, that was crazy good. 
Okay, so let's see if RX can find some sort of adjustments to try to revert the tendency and bring it back. We shall see. Oh, and here we go with the 2S counter hits. But unfortunately for him, unfortunately for RX, uh, he is forced to burst and yeah, and uh, basically make himself open for some uh, Nagoriyuki pressure and just as I say this oh badly time closest right there from Z this is unfortunate he is in the corner this time around he has to deal with pressure oh and using the Daramiyuki to go through the crow and the projectiles from Rx very very intelligent decision right there okay Rx crossing over and getting out of the corner can't really quite get her crow, her crow to hit Z to stain him okay here we go finally got the stain in Okay, we go. very nicely done by RX using the Nostrovia. He's gonna get the wall break into not only hard knockdown but a stained state as well. This is very, very big. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, no, and no. Woo! Backdash right on top. Yeah, this is very nicely done by RX. He backdash right uh, on the. 4S of, uh, of Zeke. I don't know if it was intentional, but it was, it took some guts, definitely. Here we go, Zeke not content, not happy from what happened early. Oh, you stared a little bit too long, sir. Oh, and tries to read a... Yeah, tries to read... Oh, but... Oh, he recovers so fast, damn. Oh, here we go, the Beyblade. Probably the best tool you can use in neutral. Okay, here we go. Is he trying to close the gap? And this is gonna do no time to burst. But then again, if he had burst at that particular moment, that would have been very bad for him for the third round if he ended up losing the match. Oh, and here we go with the just defend from RX again, man. They were working so good in his favor, man. And here we go with RX using the TP extremely efficiently and proficiently, man. Okay, here we go with the skulls. No, you have to hold it there. And here we go with the 4HS counter. It just did a lot of damage. And here we go. If and just like this, each takes it so freaking quickly. Here up versus Caffeine. This is our winner's final. Let's see how this rolls. Please, no connection ever. Yes, we're in, guys. We are in. So Stella biking against Caffeine. Jackal, let's see how this bends out. Very nice air to air by Caffeine to hit Stella out of the air. And Caffey not afraid to just stick to Stella as much as possible. Here we go with the goal. Oh my lord, just let it rip. Is he going to hit? And he doesn't. This is unfortunate. Oh, and here we go. Stella, fortunately for him, had a second bar of tension to make it safe. Okay, here we go. Using the minion to try to probably neutralize the Hiragi from Stella. As you know, Baiken has a counter hit. A counter, basically, that uh, counters any physical attack made to Baiken and uh Cafe oh, oh well speaking of which <laughs> damn winner's final is Baiken versus Jack on a tournament with Nagos and Rams in it this game balance truly really it is man it is but yeah man uh Baiken these these players are really good Stella and Catherine definitely putting in the work in their own respective characters so it's only fitting that they uh manage to uh be in winner's final and here we go, that being said, very nicely done by Caffeine using the minions to try to, as I said earlier, neutralize the Hiragi because Hiragi uh, cannot actually counter hits from the minions, which is very fortunate for Caffeine. Okay, here we go, back to the neutral so probably going to try to zone his opponent. And here we go, using the minions as a basket, not a basket, a baseball. Okay, here we go, the RC to make it safe. Oh my lord, the gold burst. This is something you did not want to see. You don't want to be gold bursted by Baiken, not by long shot. And here we go, gold burst, burst by himself. And here we go again with the... Ah, is it gonna do? Oh no! No! Oh, I'm not using the minion to kill. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Takes the first... Oh, not, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not doesn't take the first match. Takes the second round. And here we go. I love this uh, music, but unfortunately, it doesn't really fit. Oh, uh, you know what? I like this music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, it's Roses of May. That was Freya's theme from uh, Final Fantasy IX, of course. 
Okay, and here we go with Stira and the anti-airs, man. He gets the follow-up, almost got the... He's definitely gonna get the wall, wall break. And here we go, still on the verge of taking this first map. This is definitely gonna be good for momentum if he manages to take it. And here we go, uh, Caffeine putting armor on her minions, make it so they cannot be killed in just one hit. Unfortunately for him, the armor is gone and still out managed to take the first match. Very nicely done by Stella. Definitely not completely one-sided. There's definitely uh, room for uh, for for um, Caffeine to try and bring it back. I definitely uh, wouldn't surprise me if it ends up being so. So let's see how this ends up going. Oh my lord. My lord and savior. On paper, Stella wins, but you never know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you never know, man. Especially with Caffeine, man. I mean, Caffeine put uh, Rem and Nagoriyuki in the loser's bracket after all, so... <laughs> and here we go with the side switch by Caffeine. That was crazy, crazy good. Really, really well done. Again, Stella with the gold burst. And the conversion by Stella. Extremely well done. Here we go. You oh, no gold burst for you, mister. What are you doing? It was an unfortunate gold burst by Caffeine. Oh, but Caffeine manages to make it out of the uh, out of the corner by the skin of his teeth. Oh, here we go. The 6HS and the stagger almost got this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, using the minion to try to, you know, uh, get some chip damage in. Oh, almost got hit out of the air right there. And the 2H has to try it. Oh, very nice air grab right there from Stella. Oh, and the normal grab for the win. Very nicely done. Stella takes this one. Okay, on the verge of taking the second match as well. Big 2 H's counter hit right there for Stella. How is this going to pan out for Caffeine? We shall see. Here we go in the wall break. Very nicely done. Okay, Stella needs to bring it back. It's now or never. Well, it's actually... It can be later since he still has like one more chance if he loses this one. Okay, here we go with the armored minions. Yeah, you have to hold it, you can't kill them. Oh, and the gold burst from Stella this time around. My lord, it's the RC festival just like this. Stella takes it with the Kabari and the follow up. Very nicely done. Stella on the verge of sending caffeine in the loser's bracket. We shall see how this pans out, man. Still being extremely solid, man. Not letting anything go by, man. Not anything. Very, very, very nicely done. Okay, on to the potential final match of this set. Is Caffeine going to make a comeback or is he going to be sent to the loser's bracket? We shall see. Oh, here goes the shoot from Caffeine. Ooh, and the big counter hit right there forces Stella to pop the burst. And probably is going to be the same thing here. And the burst has been popped. Oh, an unfortunate grab attempt right there. Fortunately for Caffeine, he wasn't punished by Stella, who was probably as surprised as he was that, uh, well, Caffeine went for a grab. And here we go. Oh, Lord, wait. Uh, that was a 2HS, probably. Get here we go with the Tatami Gaishi. I think it was supposed to cross up, but it actually didn't. And here we go. Oh, and the Yozan Sensei switch, here we go. Still on the verge of getting into Grand Finals there. And again, the 2HS4 sweeping Caffeine off of his feet. Not in the good way. <laughs> Not in the romantic type of way. And again with the jumping S. And the wall break, very nicely done. Caffeine really needs to... Oh, Lord. He's shooting you, man. I don't care. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, and... Oh, is this guy... Oh, Lord! Saved by the burst. Saved by the burst. Oh. And back to neutral. Yeah, Caffeine can make this comeback. Can you... No! And gets hit by the gun. Very nice. Oh, great. I didn't, I didn't update the flag from uh, from Caffeine officially, yes. Caffeine is from Japan. He's not from, uh, from uh, Singapore for anyone that may wonder... Yes, and we're in. Perfect. In two with the West City BGM from Dragon Ball Fighters. I love this BGM, by the way. 
Okay, here we go with caffeine already popping uh, the burst. Uh, same thing for Zeej, but Zeej has the uh, the positional advantage right there. He's got caffeine exactly where he wants her. He doesn't want uh, them actually to get out. And here we go with the big two, the counter hit and the conversion from caffeine went for the grab attempt, but Zeej popped the YRC to get out of any potential um, well potential pressure. Just like this, Zeej takes it. Well, it takes the first round at least. Here we go, back. Oh, two zoning. No siree. You have to hold it. Just like I'm holding you when I'm grabbing you. Oh, Caffeine. Oh, and the missed time grab. Uh, didn't get punished quite by Zeej. And the wake up. Overdrive by Caffeine. Very nicely done. Good awareness. Good uh, decision making from Caffeine. He is going to get the wall break, is he? He is? Is he gonna kill? E e no! <laughs> e no! E no, he's not gonna kill, but it's okay to 6 HS for the uh, for the kill. Okay, one round apiece. The one who takes the following round takes it all. Well, takes the, the match at least. Not all. Okay, here we go. Deep burst. Oh my lord, yeah. Zeech has to hold it. Oh my lord, yeah. Here we go, minion. Just saving her butt. Oh lord. And here we go. a Miyuki. Uh, oh, and the 4 H says counter hit. Siege gets out of the corner. Here we go with Caffeine popping the uh, armor on the minions. Doesn't want this to just like kill them all in a fresh swoop. Oh, here we go. Siege uh, reading the jump attempt. Oh, this is unfortunate for him. Oh, he tried to grab, but very nice bag that from Siege. That awareness, man. That awareness. This is so clutch, man. The one who takes it takes it off. <gasps> Oh, oh my lord, the clash! Oh, the clash on the absolute final hit, and Caffeine manages to take the first match, man. Holy freaking lord. Zeej, definitely that. He must have felt it. Yeah, this is unfortunate for him, but he definitely has. Uh, well, he has. It's definitely not over till it's over. Hopefully, he's gonna be able to bring it back. We shall see. Oh lord. God almighty. Oh, okay, on to the next battle. Whew. And no connection error. This is perfect. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Start of the ring with the back Fukio. And Zed, okay, making a good job of uh, erasing any minion that comes on the screen. Again with the Twitches, man. Oh, Lord, he's been on point, man. You are not sending minions here, sir. And the punish the one, the, the two HS right there. Very nicely done, baby. Oh, here we go. Ah, finally got a minion on, on track. Okay, here we go. Ah, Jacko. Ooh, I get hit. Ah. And the big counter hit on the Beyblade. This is gonna do. Yeah, very nice close S2 to, to close it out, actually. Here we go, second round. Oh, and the early start with the 2D start by Caffeine. Unfortunately for uh, them, Zeej also pressed the button and resulted in a trade. Couldn't quite get the knockdown there. That would have been pretty cool, though. Okay, and here we go with Zeej back in the neutral. Probably going to attempt to kill any minion that uh, Caffeine throws his way. We shall see. Okay, again, man. Yeah, Zeej being a little bit more proactive this time. Oh, my lord, and the... <gasps> The last thing, the active frames on this 2 is really crazy. Okay, here we go with the conversion by Caffeine. Doesn't go for the grab this time around. And rightfully so. Okay, here we go. Zeej pushing Caffeine in the corner. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Zeej, careful with your blood, blood gauge. Yeah, and he has to hold all of these minions, man. Oh, oh, that backdash though, that was really, really well played by Zeej. He got out of the pressure, but just as I say, this caffeine just pulls two minions. But in one fell swoop, Zeej manages to dispose of them both at the same time. Here we go. Ah, just <laughs> oh, look, he's getting sandwiched by the uh, by the minion. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, Zeej couldn't quite manage to juggle caffeine. That would have been a uh, game, by the way. Oh, here we go. Oh, negative penalty incoming. And the quick bust for the kill. And 
a clean second match by Zeech takes it. We have a match, one match apiece, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, look, this is actually pretty clutch, man. This is a very clutch match, by the way. Let's see how this pans out. A very, very um, tight match, if I might add. I would have, I would have thought it would have been a little bit more in favor of Zeech, but Caffeine definitely holding his own, their own. Okay, and on to the third match. Let's see how this pans out. No connection error, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's 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 uh, 11 p.m. So no more connection error at that time, which is pretty fortunate. And here we go with Caffeine shooting its minion away, trying to hit Zeej in the back. Okay, here we go. Six feet. The, oh, the cheeky six feet right in the block strings of Zeej. Again, here we go. Caffeine successfully manages to put some distance between them and Zeej. Oh, here we go. Oh, and one swoop kills every single minion on the board, man. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> ah, the, the minions, man. And here we go. Zeej using Twitches to erase any minions on the screen. And just like this, Caffeine managed to get a dust in. What's gonna be the okay? Give me minion! Minion time! Yeah, yeah. Ah, that, that was pretty much quite uh, picnic. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go. Big trade on the start of the match. I can't be not willing to do some, uh, you know... Not to do some close quarter... Close quarter... Close quarters with, uh, with Z. Definitely does not want. Only gets in when he gets a hit with the minion, which is perfectly understandable, by the way. And go to two HS. Oh, no follow up. Okay, here we go back to the zoning game. Oh my lord, yeah, I have to hold it. Yep, there's armor on the Zeej. Oh, Sha, and Gaffin on the verge of taking it. What is Zeej going today? He wants the gold burst. I can guarantee you, Zeej wants the gold burst. Oh! Oh lord. Oh, oh lord. Oh no, and the jump in for the win, and Siege brings it back, man. Yo, whoa, how are you doing, Rose? Welcome to the, welcome back to the stream, man. You're doing good? Yeah, that was clutch, man. That was really, really clutch. And... Classic Nago. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was classic Nago indeed. And that means like, here we go with Nago sniping Caffeine from the other side of the... <gasps> and just like this, Siege steals it. He steals it. They stole from us. <laughs> she steals it pretty, pretty crazily. Well, that was good. That, that, was, that was nice. A quick third round by Siege Manages to take the second match. Just like this, we are on... Uh, potentially the final match of the set. It all depends on Caffeine. Is Caffeine going to be able to bring it back? Or is Zeej going to make him his uh, way to the Grand Final and fight Sutera? We shall see. Okay, here we go on to the third, well, the fourth match, actually. Perfect. Now we can beat Saul in the story, so he beats the Chaco instead. <laughs> okay, I can't beat you. Okay, so I'm going to beat your wife then. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord, and Caffeine just harassing Zeej with the 6HS, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the 5HS counter, this did a ton of damage, my lord. And oh, unfortunately for Caffeine, gets hit by the... Uh, da 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 da, I was called it down. What is that? The, the Beyblade, yeah. Here we go again, the Beyblade for chip damage, was it? I'm not even quite sure. And just like this, we are on set point with Zeej leading. Oh my lord, yeah, Caffeine is harassing Zeej with the minions. And no, sir, you will not backdash on me. Zeej smelling blood, man. Zeej definitely smelling, but he's gonna blood rage. Oh, or not, actually. That was unfortunate for Caffeine. Yeah, this is pretty much... Yeah, that, this is it. Very nicely done by Zeej. Takes it extremely confident. Oh my lord. Okay, anyways, uh, that being said, okay, here we go, grand, 
Rhino. Okay, and I just need to update the, uh, the predictions, and we're good to go. One second, please. Okay. And oh, it's a battle of the samurai, by the way. This is actually pretty nice. Biken versus uh, versus Nago, man. I see a ginormous samurai with a samurai sword hurtling through the air. What do you do? GG's, guys. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, and here we go. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. We're seeing you. Okay, you don't want to see me. You want to see this. And here we go with a quick first round by uh, Zij. Let's see if Stella can find some sort of adjustment right there. But Stella is in winner's side, so Stella only needs to win one set. Whereas Zij needs to win two sets if he wants to take it back home. Here we go, big... Uh, what's it called? A big uh, command grab by Zij. All of his blood went down now. Boom! Again with the 6 H is just harassing, man. Harassing Stella, not letting them do anything here the boom with the grab rc into the 6 hs for a quick first match for z very nicely done yay shout outs to donkey kong country to the absolute best platform game in the entire world i do not care if you do not agree with me i agree with myself and that's way more than enough that being said, here we go with the second match between Stella versus Zeej with this fantastic background music. Here we go! Okay, let's see if uh, Stella can find some sort of adjustment. Samurai battle, man. Oh, here we go, the big 6P counter hit by Zeej, definitely on point with his entire game. Again, wake up 6P. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, stuff finding the opening with the 2HS, man. Very nicely done. Here we go. Find pretty nice open again. The IAD 2S uh, in, into the uh, Yozon Center. This has been working a lot for Stella. Stella just, oh my lord, running towards their opponent. Oh, no, you will not bite me, sir. What are you doing? Okay, here we go to wake up Tasami Gaishi. Oh, and the 2HS. Very nice lecture from... Uh, reads from uh, Zij knowing that Cell was gonna back. Ooh, snipe! Well, at least tried to snipe, but it's okay. Yeah, here we go, Kabari. Uh, and my lord, wake up, Kabari from Stella manages to take it. Very nice. A lead done by Stella. Takes the second round and the big counter hit. Uh, Oh, here we go. You're in limbo, so you're gonna eat some Yozansei Salada tonight, aren't you? Oh, and the big six. Oh, no. No, 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 sir. The big two HS counter hit just like this. Each manages to switch places. And just as I say, the Stella manages to wake up with a grab and switch place themselves. Oh. Oh, here we go. The oh, no, again. No, sir. You cannot grab me after YRC. <laughs> okay, very nice 6P right there from Zeej. Okay, back to neutral. Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to hold it. Okay, here we go. You are Kabari. What are you gonna do now? Oh, is this gonna be enough? This is gonna be enough. No, unfortunately for him. You don't want to let Zeej alive, but it's okay. The 2S for the win. Very nicely done by Stella. Puts one on the board as well. One match apiece. Okay, things are actually looking pretty tight. Is Stella going to take it or is Z going to be able to uh, not only reset the bracket but also potentially win tonight's tournament? We shall see. Okay, here we go. On to the third match. Okay, third match it is. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Okay, the big 4S. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, here we go with Zeej pushing his opponent in the corner. He's gonna get the overdrive into the hard knockdown, into the uh, positive bonus. Could boom, eat that. I'm the rough summer right here. Go, oh, my lord, and wake up Hiragi, the cojones on Stella, man. Lord, the cojones on Stella, but that wasn't enough to warrant a comeback, unfortunately, for him. 
No, here we go. The wake up beat. Uh, Serve around with the DP from Z. Joy he gets the big counter hit on the six, on the close H on the close S. Uh, he's gonna get the follow up of the four. Yeah, of the four uh, overdrive. My Lodis went so quick. This round went so freaking quick. Oh no! And Z just running, well, jumping. Oh lord, the, the confirms. Ah, that would have been a crazy good combo. Ah, he's gonna get it. And here we go with the overdrive from Biken. Gonna get the wall break. So, what is going to be the Oki? The plain old and simple. Not, I mean, no, not even actually. Oh, he got it. Oh, oh, is he gonna get it? Oh, and the conversion! Yes, he got it! Perfect conversion from Stella. Brings it back. Definitely not going down without a fight. That was crazy hype, by the way. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ah. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, here we go. The 2S counter hit into wall break from Zeej. Looking good. Again with the overdrive. Gonna get the hard knock. Down. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is. Uh, poor Biken taking a lot of uh, punishment right there. So what's gonna be the... Okay, this time around wakes up without attacking. Stella probably in uh, fear of getting Hiragid. And just like this, Zij actually takes the second match as well. We are looking... Uh, well, we're getting closer and closer to a potential <laughs> reset. That would be pretty freaking crazy. That would be the second reset in two World Joe Cups. I wouldn't be complaining. I love resets personally because uh, it's gives me more content to work with so this is actually perfect let's see if this actually ends up being the case but lord man yeah still uh, definitely doing uh, their best to try to contain that storm that is Zeej oh my lord and here we go with the Beyblade man the Beyblade okay Z trying to keep Stella in the corner okay Stella went for a cheeky grab but unfortunately Zeej noticing it and just backdashing and punishing it Accordingly, oh, here we go. The nice conversion couldn't get the uh, the the follow in combo. Okay, he tried to go with the side switch. He wasn't, oh my lord, and the overdrive right after being YRC, man. Oh lord, okay, here we go. You have to hold it now. Go and this is gonna do or not actually. Oh, but the two HS for the win. Still, I'm not going down without a fight, man. This is so clutch. This has been so freaking tight. Here we go. The far S for the opening. Oh, and the Hiragi baited by Z. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. Positive bonus. No hard knockdown, though. But Z just, uh, noticing that Stella likes to jump back a lot. And unfortunately for him. Unfortunately for him. Oh, no. Are you seeing? Not like this, Z. Not like this. Oh, and the Fukyo, the cheeky Fukyo into the grab for the win. Very nicely done by Zeej. Okay, this is the final mat, the final round of this match. And oh, the, the, he went in deep, man. So when we're going really, really deep to try to catch Zeej. Okay, very nice timing for the Yuzensen. Could make it actually not only safe, but plus unlock at that uh, particular height. And Zeej's not afraid of pressing buttons, get triple good for kick, man. As long as it works. And oh, oh my lord, that was crazy good. Okay, here we go. Zeej has to take the, he has to take the pressure. No, oh, and this should do. Yeah, this is it. <gasps> okay, man, we are two matches apiece, man. This is crazy. Holy freaking lord. We have a match, like completely a match, right? Okay, what is going to happen? What is going to happen, guys? Who is going to take it? Oh, Lord. This is crazy, man. Stella versus Zeej. Final round of this uh, current set. If Zeej takes it, the bracket is reset. If Stella takes it, he wins the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and the big 2S counter hit. Zeej unfortunately pressed the button and gets counter hit. Biken, where are you dashing exactly? What are you doing? Where are you dashing? <laughs> and the wake up. The wake up burst from Stella. 
Okay, just like this is a big conversion for so this is gonna do a little ton of damage here. You have to hold the Tethami guy to wake up as well. So going with the Rayos on Sen just in the corner. And the big Kabadi right there. Oh my lord, and Zeke reading how did he read an aerial attack at that particular timing? I do not know, but he managed to punish it accordingly. And here we go with the air grab. Nice awareness from Zeej. Ooh, 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 tout est fini entre nous. No, and the drop. You don't want to let Zeej go live, man. You don't know. No, the drop. This must have hurt so much for oh, for the momentum of, of uh, Stella. This is unfortunate. And here we go with Zeej. Definitely smelling blood. Definitely sensing that, that sequence. That, that that drop from Stella must have definitely waited on on their uh, on their uh, psyche. Oh, and just like this, he resets the bracket. Oh my lord! Bracket reset. This is crazy. Okay, let me just put both of the players in losers. Oh my freaking lord, man! The bracket has been reset. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> this is unfortunate. It was 3 to 2, by the way. Yeah, okay, here we go. Bracket is reset. Now, moving on to the next battle, the final set of tonight. There will not be any more resets if one or the other wins. Okay, second reset we've had in two weeks, man. So crazy. And here we go, Zeej. Definitely smelling himself. Smelling himself? What? Feeling himself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not an English speaker. <laughs> English is in my mother language. Yeah, definitely... Sp I hope he's feeling himself, I, I hope he's not smelling himself though, but anyways... Zeej feeling himself right there, and just as I say this, he gets completely pummeled by Stella. <laughs> Let's see if uh, he can bring back some of the momentum that he had during the previous set, but... Just as I say this, Stella takes it with the overdrive. The smell of the game, man. The smell of the Zeej. <laughs> okay, oh my lord, and just run up straight to get the golden burst. The cojones on them Stella, man, it's crazy. And unfortunately for him, he gets command grabbed on wake up. This is unfortunate. Okay, and here we go with Stella. Full onslaught. Beast mode activated. And here we go with the, oh, the, the cross up. Unfortunately for... Oh, he baited the burst. This is gonna... Oh, this is gonna hurt like a mother umper. A little bit too far to get the... Uh, the, the ground... Uh, the, not the ground, the wall bounce. But very nicely done by Stella. Manages to take the first match of the reset, man. Okay, very nicely done. Okay, is he going to be able to uh, bring it back? Is he gonna be able to adjust? We shall see in a couple of minutes. Hopefully. Zij, me boy. Oh, again, here we go. Just ah, oh, this is so freaking clutch, man. So freaking clutch. And here we got the best BGM out of any freaking video game. This is Low Wayne Steam. Everybody loves Low Wayne, except except pretty much anybody who doesn't play him. <laughs> okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Both players staying uh, relatively. Yeah, back into neutral. Oh, this one's again. No, this, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. No, I don't want this. What are you doing? Okay, okay here we go. Could, could have kept it simple. Though he looks plentiful rage. He does, man. He does. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're good. And just like this, Stella takes it with the Kabari. Very nicely done. On the verge of taking the the, 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 the second match, actually. Stella definitely not happy with this reset, but definitely uh, finding the will to recollect uh, themselves and do what's necessary in order to get the win. Here we go, the 2S into HS. Okay, pushing Stella in the corner. Here we go. The onslaught is real. The pressure is real. What are you gonna do, Stella? What are you gonna do? Where's your nose? Where's your nose, Stella? Oh, and the conversion from freaking Zeej, man. Calm down. Calm down, sir. 
Here we go to Big 2HS counter hit from Stella, man. Oh, and the call, my lord. Zeej managed to find the, hope, the hit in the opening with the Beyblade counter hit. And here we go with the big Hiragi. Okay, very nice. Stella doesn't want to go down without a fight. Doesn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, and the YRC. Ooh, and the delay 2D, man. That was crazy good. Bleeding someone else's blood would be a reason for concern. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed it would. And here we go with the Yuzon Sen and just like this, Stella puts another one on the board. Stella on the verge of taking it. After that very, very unfortunate reset from uh, from Zeej, man. Zeej, he's on the verge of not getting first place. It's so unfortunate. Let's see if he can find some way to uh, recollect themselves. You made me bleed my own blood. <laughs> exactly. Oh my lord. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord, smelling himself. <laughs> Oh, why did I say this, man? Anyways, here we go. Potential final, uh, final, um, match of this set. We shall see. Oh, here we go with the Kabari messing up with, uh, the usual setups of Zeej. Thank you very much for the follow, Zani D, and welcome to the, to the Brothers. Really appreciate it, man. Oh, okay, and here we go with the Yozan Sen, man, and Stella pushing Zeej in the corner. He made it so that he he wanted to make it so that Zeej would think that he would go for the... Uh, oh, there we go with the big... Uh, the big... Oh, did you see Stella? Isn't Stella a Kai player? He's been freaking <laughs> running from the one end of the screen to the other just to grab his opponent, man. He's definitely a Kai player. <laughs> Or at least was a Kai player before playing uh, Baika. Anyway, that being said, here we go with Stella. Oh, and the dust! And just like this, Stella is on tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Is Stella gonna be able to take it? Or is Zeej gonna be able to bring it back? Here we go, big close S counter hit. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, I have to hold it. Nope, don't have to hold it. Oh my lord, this is gonna hurt. Okay, fortunately for Zeej, he gets the instant overhead and BOOM! My lord, did you see the damage on this? Did you see the damage on this hit? That was so freaking much. Okay, here we go. Oh, the big 2S counter hit and Zeej has to hold it. Where's your 6P, man? It's not here. Okay, here we go. Ah, still are feeling themselves, I can tell. The big 6P counter hit right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, nope, still hold it. Oh my lord, the 2HS counter hit this here so much. And the 6HS counter hit. Oh, again. Oh, and the delays and the onslaught of Zeej finally managed to put one on the board. Is that the comeback that Zeed was hoping for? Was that what he was searching for and he finally got? That was pure fury, man. Pure counter hits into god, god, god awful damage, man. Well, god, god sin damage. Oh lord. <laughs> Very nicely done by Zeech. Finally puts one on the board. Let's see if he can continue in that uh, trend and eventually bring it back. We shall see. Again, guys, thank you very much for the 900 followers. This is really awesome. We are close to 1,000 followers. I'm really, really, really hyped, guys. Thank you again for your support. Just that being said, here we go with the big six speak counter head. Of Zeej right in, uh, through the uh, the, tatagami, the tatami Gaishi from Stella. Finally, both opponents forced to burst. Ah, and the bad backstep right there from Zeej. He's in the corner, has to deal with a pretty hefty amount of uh, of of um, the pressure. Okay, here we go. Zeej decided not to use the Fukyo to try to close the gap. Oh, okay, here we go. The Fukyo back to good. Oh, here we go. He found the opening. Ah, but he's not allowed to use his uh, blood rage anymore. As you can see, it's very, very high as of now. What? This is the flint. This was, yeah, that was... Oh, no! And... No! This is unfortunate for Stella. Ooh, da, 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 da. And the grab for the win. Are you serious? Are we going on to the... Are we going on to a third? A two, two, a, a, fourth, a fifth match? I think this is bound to happen, man. This is gonna go down to the wire, I can feel it. And here we go with Zeech smelling blood and the... Oh, the command grab on Wake Up, you went for another one, by the way. And here we go with Stella grabbing, uh, catching the Bagdash from... 
Zij Scott doesn't want to go for another one, and he oh, he bays the yellow Roman Castle. He's just gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, and finally bays the burst. Oh, so, uh, yep, you can go through it. Ah, oh, and here we go, bays the grab. Defense? What defense? <laughs> what is defense? What is this uh, this strange notion? Oh, and the big. Okay, we're on tournament point, guys. Let's see if Stella has it in him to take it right now. And this definitely looks pretty good. The big damage. He went for the reset, but Zeke aware of it. And here we go. The onslaught is true. Is real. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, and the burst. That was his cue to bur ba bait it. Okay, Zeke has to open. Yeah, he has to find something. Is he gonna bring it back? Oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh! Did he let it pop? Did he pop it? Oh! We're going out to the last freaking round, the last freaking match of this <laughs> of this freaking tournament, man. We're going absolutely down to the wire, Stella, Stella, <laughs> Siege! Oh my lord! This freaking tournament is hype as hell. This is the absolute last match of tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Still at Baiken versus Zij Nagoriyuki, who is going to uh, bring back home the uh, theoretical, uh, the theoretical gold. We shall see. Oh, and here we go. The gold burst from Zij, man, and finally pushes. Oh, and the two HS snipe, my lord. Oh, what's gonna happen? Stella doesn't want to stay in place, and she gets command grab. This is unfortunate. Double command grab. Okay. Oh my lord. Ball point for Zij. Tournament point for Zij. Is Stella gonna be able to bring it back? Here we go with the standing S into the. Oh no! It gets grabbed. This is absolutely not where you want to be. Oh, and the grab. Okay, here you go. You can make it back. You can make it back. Collect yourself, sir. Okay, here we go. Okay, you want to try to bait the, the grab potentially. And the. Oh my lord, the Beyblade command grab. The counter. This is huge. Huge. This is huge. Finally, burst from Stella. He has to take this one if he wants to stay alive. Oh. Uh, no. I'm so stressed. I kind of want. Yeah, Stella to try to bring it back. It would be pretty freaking hype. Yeah, and as you can see, Zeej is not allowed to use the blood. Oh, 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 oh he got the flow, no, he got the follow, are you serious? Is this, this gonna work? Oh! Oh, my, my, my butt is clenched. Oh, no! No, no, no! No! He's going out to the final! He's going out to the final round of the final match, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the one who takes this round wins the tournament. This is so freaking clutch and a very big and strong start of the round by Zij. No, no, he missed the burst. Oh, and this is... Oh, actually, he could have taken it there. Oh, yeah, this is going to be hard for Stella, man. This is going to be so hard. That's what she said. Oh, and he takes it with the dust and just like this, your turn.